Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Gix 911 Show. I'm your host, Gix. Now, today we're going to be talking about public disability benefits questionnaire. Okay, as you can see on this page, this is where you're going to find all of your updated DBQs. Okay, what the VA did is March of 2021, they decided to go ahead and update all forms of DBQs. And when they did that, they took away the VA form number. Holy slip disk. Okay, now to me, that is very fishy. That is very suspect. But you know, just as I know, the Veterans Health Administration is not there to help the veterans. And um, we have to help ourselves and we have to stay vigilant and make sure that we give the information as we find it. Okay, so if you find out information and you know it's going to be helpful to other veterans, please do, by all means, make a YouTube video out of it. Post it on Instagram, post it on Twitter, whatever you have to do to get it out to the masses. That's what needs to happen. So as you can see here, here are the disability benefits questionnaires or public disability benefits questionnaires. And what I would advise everyone to do at this point right now is if you have this link up or this site up, go ahead and highlight the URL and go ahead and bookmark it. Okay. It is very important that we start doing these things so that we can hold the VA accountable for the things that they do as far as hiding information. Okay. So let's say they decide to deaden this link or cancel out this link. All right. If they do that, it'll come up with an error and hopefully it'll mirror you to another site displaying the correct information once again. So another thing, what I want everybody to do is to just go ahead and verify that it's a va.gov website, which it is. All right. And that's when you know that it's coming from a reliable source or a certified source. Okay. Within the U S department of veterans affairs. So this is the site here. Okay. And normally I guess it would be under compensation, but you don't know these days. I mean, I can click on the compensation tab here and something else can pop up here. Not necessarily all the DBQs. Okay. So anyway, here's the one for artery and vein, heart, hypertension, so forth. So this is where you're going to find all the information, all the DBQs. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on one just to kind of give you an, an idea. Here's knee and lower leg. So when I click on it, uh, it says the document you're trying to low requires Adobe eight or higher. Okay. So another thing you guys go ahead and update your Adobe reader to eight or higher, or some of these forms will not display. Okay. And that's another thing, you know, some people have outdated computers. Imagine clicking on that and your computer cannot see. I mean, it's so many tricks and craziness that's going on within the VA. I see some forms pop up, some forms. So what's the deal with that? You know, why did that form not pop up and this form pop up? So again, these are the things that I'm talking about. Okay. Some forms can, I guess you can't access it unless you have Adobe 8 or higher, which is really, really strange. So I guess with the knee and the lower leg requires Adobe 8 or higher, which is by all means to me very strange. Anyway, if you have an outdated computer, you may not be able to see that form. So make sure that your hardware is updated. Make sure you have the correct software to view these forms. Okay. So I don't want to really make this video um, too long, but I do want to mention another site here called Military Disabilities Made Easy. Now, this is a very good source of information outside of the VA.gov. It has a lot of good information, as you can see here. Um, VA disability processes, the CMP exam, VA math is which what we all don't understand. I do not for the life of me understand anything that the VA has to talk about as far as their VA math. It makes absolutely no sense. I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. I'll just wait for mom to get back. What? Well, she won't understand it any better than I do. If I did this kind of math in school, I think I'd fail. <laughs> you know what I mean? None of it makes sense, but, you know, it's their system, so we have to abide by their system. Um, and like I said, it's got a large uh, multitude of different types of benefits or you know different types of topics here that we can all uh, learn from so if you have not um bookmarked this page or this website yet please do so and uh this is going to help you out tremendously when it comes to finding information outside of the va.gov website okay all right and uh, another form or a site that i would like everybody to bookmark is this one here it's the va find a form website so um, if you by any means have that VA form number or are looking for that VA form number, you can find it here. OK, so go ahead and make sure it is a VA.gov verified. Always verify the URL to make sure it's coming from a reliable source or a certified source. 
And uh, that way you stay <laughs> out of getting your denial because you have the wrong form. Okay. So once you put in the form number, all the information will pop up here. Okay. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this video too long. If you thought this information was helpful, if you thought this is something that you can pass on to some of your other veterans, which you should be doing, um, please do. Um, please, please, please share this video out. The more shares it gets, the more likes it gets. It pushes up on the YouTube algorithm. So therefore, a lot more vets will get this information and uh, start, you know, plugging the VA for what they should be doing is their work. OK, so anyway, um, this is Gix 911 show. I'm your host, Gix. And remember to subscribe, subscribe today, everyone. The more subscriptions I get, the more views this channel gets, the higher it will be pushed up again on that Google or that YouTube algorithm. Anyway, peace, love and harmony in 2021. I'm your host, Giggs. I'm out. Peace.